So what we see in chapter 12 is that... Well, Matt, what do you think? Um, I think that Dimsdale... Let me go ahead and stop you right there. I have a confession to make. Inside my book, I'm hiding my cell phone. You're hiding in your book? Well, the most important part of me, my cell phone. You ding dong, look. What you said is, inside my book, I'm hiding my cell phone. But what that sounds like is that you're hiding your book. This is called a misplaced modifier. A misplaced modifier is when you have a descriptive word or phrase, but it's not right next to what it should be. The modifier in this case is inside my book, but it must be placed right next to the thing that it's describing. Because you said inside my book, I am, it sounds like you're hiding in your book. It should be, I am hiding my cell phone inside my book because the cell phone is in your book, not you. Make sense? Yes, I understand. Wait, how are you hiding your cell phone in your book? I cut out the inside of the pages. Wait, if you cut out the pages, how have you been reading the book along with us? Okay, I have to make a second confession. Get out. A misplaced modifier is when you have a descriptive word or phrase that is not next to what it should be. The modifier is always the describing word or phrase. So if I say sitting in my chair, I am studying for a test. Who's sitting in the chair? Well, I am because that's how it works. But if I said sitting in my chair studying for a test, my dog started really bothering me, it would sound like my dog was sitting in the chair studying for the test, which is not accurate. Check out these five examples. I want you to pause the video, read them, and see if you can figure out exactly what's wrong with them. For the first one here, flying through the sky, I pointed out the satellite. Well, obviously, who's flying through the sky? It sounds like I'm flying through the sky, but that's not accurate. It's the satellite flying through the sky. So it should be, I pointed out the satellite that was flying through the sky or something like that. For the second one, hanging on my wall, my friend loved my Star Wars poster. Well, I love Star Wars too, but this sounds like hanging on my wall, my friend. Like my friend is hanging on the wall, but that's not appropriate. Hanging on my wall is the modifier, and that should be right next to the thing that's actually hanging on the wall, which is the Star Wars poster. In the third one, in order to graduate, it is necessary to earn 120 semester hours of credit. Well, the modifier in this case is in order to graduate, but who or what is graduating? Well, it'd be me or you or students or somebody, but this example makes it seem like it is graduating but it is not a thing that can be graduating. So again, you'd have to add in a person or a student or something like that. For the fourth one, stored in the bank vault for 30 years, I couldn't believe how amazing the gems were. Well, was I stored in the bank vault for 30 years? Because again, the modifier is stored in the bank vault for 30 years. I couldn't believe. So that doesn't really work. Again, the stored in the bank vault needs to be right next to the thing that was actually stored there, which is the gems. For the fifth one, after being in the army for four years, my serious reading was lacking. Well, look, who was in the army for four years? A lot of people screw this up because they say, well, I was, and that's what it says. No, it says my serious reading. Your serious reading is not you. So it would have to be something where after being in the army for four years, I had been lacking in my serious reading or something of, of that nature. But the point is, whenever you have a modifier, it has to be right next to the thing it's actually modifying. Misplaced modifiers are tricky. You have to take your time with these. They are everywhere. You can pick up any publication, a newspaper or a magazine and find them. It's a very, very common mistake and not many people pay attention to it, but it is an absolutely dynamite important grammar rule.